How about that Joey Harrington, huh? Uh, Monday night, he showed up. Two touchdowns. Um, completed most of his passes. Had a good, had a f good fair few yards. Um, you know, I still don't have faith in the kid. He's one of those fine examples of why nice guys do finish last, but he's looking all right so far this preseason. So maybe there's still some hope for the Atlanta hope, Atlanta faithful. Um, pretty good game on Monday actually. You know, those announcers would not shut up talking about Michael Vick. I want to watch the game. I want you guys to talk about the game. Felt like the game was just secondary to what, you know, the scandal concerning Michael Vick. And that just annoyed the hell out of me because there's a game going on. ESPN has been doing nothing but covering this Vick thing. So, I don't get it, man. Anyway, a pretty good offensive performance. Chad Johnson had his way with D'Angelo Hall, and you know I love seeing that because, well, I do think D'Angelo Hall is a very overrated cornerback. I think he thinks he's Deion Sanders, and he's not. And, um, <laughs> Chad Johnson was just completely running up and down the field on him. Five catches, 83 yards, and a TD. Um, Palmer... Palmer played extremely well, of course, finding the open receiver, spreading the ball out. Um, pretty much as good as Harrington did. Um, once the Jarius Norwood's looking pretty good, I actually managed to pick him up in a fantasy league. Some guy dropped him. I have no idea why, but um, he's a good find. He sure is elusive and quick, the little guy. He's like, you know, people talk about Reggie Bush or Mojo. Keep an eye on this guy. This guy is a lot like him. Maybe even more. We'll see. I think he's going to be the featured back in Atlanta, and he looks like something special. Um, beyond that, there's not a lot going on right now. Got a couple of... <coughs> let's see. Um, Titans signed defensive tackle Corey Simon. Um, and why do they keep signing Indianapolis defenders? If you're going to sign Indianapolis players, wouldn't you want to look at offense? I don't know. I don't necessarily think it's the healthiest way to go about things. And this is one of their lesser signings in terms of signing Indianapolis defenders. Corey Simon's just way too fat to do much of anything in this league anymore. I mean, I'm all for fat defensive tackles, but I think he even he is just too big. So I don't know. We'll see. I mean, they got pretty good defensive tackles in Tennessee. Albert Hainsworth, for one. So, we'll see how things work out. Looks like Jason Campbell's going to be okay. I say good. Good young kid. I think he can be an alright quarterback. Maybe not a MVP or a Pro Bowler, but I think he can manage the game much like he did in college. Um, Michael Strahan issue won't clean itself up. I don't get it. He's not getting any more money, and he knows it, so... You know, he said he was going to be in camp already, so either he's got to make a decision either way, even if it's to retire. You can't just keep leading the Giants along like this. Uh, I got a couple of messages. Some of these are quite old, so I'm sorry for getting to them so late, but you know how things can be. Um, this fight for a 22793 guy sends me a 16-second video of a Willis McGahee run in the preseason against... Uh, average too poor Eagles run defense. And he says, dude, watch this video and explain to me how this is not what the Ravens are looking for. Well, first of all, you're not going to convince anyone with that. Um, I don't know what you're trying to say with that, but that's a s one run in the preseason against a less than stellar run defense. And in that game, he had four carries, and that was the only one he had worth mentioning, so I don't know what you're trying to say. I mean, I do know Willis McGay. He does possess much more speed and elusiveness than Jamal Lewis ever did, even in his prime. Less power, but such is the way of running backs in this league. But, um, my thing with McGay, he is, he's been overrated his entire career. He's always been one to open his mouth which is one of the reasons why he's overrated. People hear him talk about how great he is when he's above average at best. His career yard per carry average is 3.8. That's average. That's maybe above average. 
maybe in the Buffalo offense you could give him credit for being above average, but um, you know that's nothing special. He's only really had one stellar year in uh, 2004 when he had all them touchdowns after coming on late in the season. Yes, he was an absolute stud in college, but he suffered a severe, nearly career-ending injury since then. We all know about that. And he lost his quick, his burst. He lost some of his ability. He um, is not the running back he used to be. He's still a solid running back, and he is an upgrade over Jamal Lewis in the sense that he is quicker and more elusive and can probably catch the ball better. Not by much, though. Um, he is better than Lewis, especially compared to Lewis last year, but he's not an elite running back. I think he's being overrated in fantasy leagues. And I don't think he's going to be the future Hall of Famer that some are pegging him out to be. He will help the offense, but not as much as some people seem to think. That's what I. That's just my opinion, of course. But that's what I think. Um, I also got another one. Innovations in the NFL. What do you think is next? This one from JSIC5. Um, he talks about how tight ends have started in recent decades to catch the ball more than block. Uh, running back tandems, smaller O-lines, the 3-4 defense, faster linebackers, three safety sets, things like this. People that come around and don't only play the game very well, they change the game. They add something entirely new, like decades ago, there was no such thing as a receiving tight end. Um, I mean, when you if you reach back far enough, they hardly used to pass the ball very much. If you look at the stats of previous great quarterbacks like Johnny Unitas or um, you can go even back farther to like Red Grange, um, the stats are low because they didn't pass that often. They were recognized as being great for their time. And uh, what's the next big innovation in the NFL? Things like, well, the last big change in the NFL. I'm not really sure what you could call it. This three safety set that Arizona is trying to use, which I don't agree with since they only have one good safety in my opinion, Adrian Wilson. Um, that's something relatively new. We'll see how that works. Um, you got things like the uh, Tampa 2 defense, which is fairly new. Um, I'm wondering if maybe we'll see more five l defensive linemen sets. That is you know, five defensive linemen, two linebackers. Um, uh, some defenses pra practically use it if they have three defensive linemen and then blitz the two outside linebackers. But I'm wondering if we'll see, like, three defensive tackles and two defensive ends sometime in the future. That could be interesting. One man, one man against each offensive lineman. Um... You know, I'm not really sure beyond that. I mean... The innovation, the innovation well has been somewhat tapped dry for the time being, but no doubt in the future we will see more innovation. Maybe we'll see, I don't know, more offensive linemen going out as eligible receivers. You know, I'm not sure what the next big innovation is, but I do like the idea of five defensive linemen, at least as a experiment for a team that has extremely good lineman depth and maybe not so good linebacker depth. Interesting idea, maybe. I don't know what else to say on that subject, so that's about it for me. Um, tomorrow we got a ton of preseason games. I'm going to watch what I can. You know what one game I definitely will be watching, but um, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what games I'm getting, but I'm um, Gonna watch everything I can. I'm actually going paintballing tomorrow, so hopefully I'll get back before the games start. A um, couple of games on Friday, and then we just gotta wait around for about ten days. Well, actually, less than a week if you count the opening day, opening game, and then the season will start. And I cannot wait. It's gonna be a special season. Um. Okay, that's all I gotta say. So see you guys later.